I'm David Guggenheim, the Ocean Doctor, and after 35 years of diving, this is my first dive with lots of sharks. And there really were lots of sharks. We're in Jardines de la Reina in the southern part of Cuba. These are Caribbean reef sharks checking me out. Curious, kind of like dogs, a lot of mutual respect, beautiful animals. And I was a little bit wary at first, but really got comfortable swimming with these guys in the water after a while. And it's a sign of a very healthy ecosystem. Seeing a lot of sharks like this, a lot of predators, we've, we've eliminated most of the sharks in the world. And I came up to the surface and saw beautiful silky sharks near the surface swimming around the boat kind of brownish in color, beautiful, beautiful animals. And, and then I saw this. And this didn't look quite right. That's our dive master, Noel. And yes, he's holding a silky shark by the tail, something I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do. Well, there's Noel. He seems perfectly calm, but so does the shark. Why is this shark just not fighting back? just lying there vertical in the water and why is Noel now grabbing for his dorsal fin this is altogether too strange especially when this is your first dive with a lot of sharks but what was about to happen was even stranger. <laughs> he puts the shark on his lap. There is my dive master with a shark on his lap. And he's petting it. He's petting a full-grown silky shark. This is not something you see every day. This is not something... I would recommend, please do not try this at home, or anywhere for that matter. Can you believe that this shark is just sitting there tolerating this? I think it's important to love sharks, but maybe not quite this way. He just wakes up, swims for the bottom. Well, if you're as curious as I was as to what was going on, Visit oneplanetoneocean.org slash sharkwhisperer.